Hello everyone, this is Side Pocket. A uh, quick few couple of seconds out of the way. <coughs> um, I decided to get a uh, haircut, a uh, shaving haircut. And I've had this look before, but I thought I'd try it again. I really wanted to go to a security detective system uh, because he's really a big beard. They think I am some towel head from Yemen that's full of nitroglycerin and wants to kill you, uh, which I'm not uh, at all. I'm actually half African American, half Polish. So, ta da! But that's what everyone thinks because of the way I look. So, maybe this book will improve things. We'll be just maybe. Anyhow, uh, enough of my ego. I want to talk about an issue that's been really close to my heart, and especially with the recent news, I now get to talk about it. And uh, my views are kind of controversial for whatever. And it's the whole PR clusterfuck with Israel, with the whole aid ship going in, and Israel trying to stop the protesters, protesters rebel, Israel decides to use live ammunition and kills a bunch of fuckers. Now, here's the thing, and I want to put this in the of the video. I do not condone terrorist activity. I think the way the Palestinians and other Islamic countries in the Middle East, the way they're dealing with Israel is absolutely stupid. Um, you need to play the victim card. You should not strap bombs to yourself and blow up orphanages because that just makes you look like a bigger asshole. It doesn't work. You know, what you eventually got was 9-11 and see how that worked out for you if you didn't. Um, on the other hand, here's this big thing, and I must say this. I really, 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 really hate the state of Israel, and I hate the way people treat it. Now, to reiterate, I also hate the American government. I also hate the British government. I do not like Egypt's government. I do not like the Chinese government. I'm not an anarchist. I don't think anarchy would work. I am like a nihilist politician. I don't think any of our systems work. I think they're all bullshit as long as people want power and someone's going to be in power something's going to get fucked up and it's all going to be us as daily people we mm. get to be in world trade centers when they go down we get to be in the underground when it blows up we get to be experimented and rounded up into camps at the end of it and these rich assholes get away with it um the main problem i have with the israel state is that due to big pr campaigns which ironically culminated with a very similar incident to this boat uh incident where uh, the Jews got Palestine by sending their activists in a boat through a blockade, didn't work, and caused horrible PR for Britain, they had to get rid of it. Tables have been turned on Israel, and what I hope that this will do with Israel, whether they are in the right or in the wrong, because it's very confusing, and I do agree we need a full investigation, because a lot of the weapons, I don't agree with the protesters attacking apparently, but a lot of the weapons are there, and come on, if there's going to be a bunch of guys landing on your boat, you're probably going to want to retaliate back. And you're talking about a guy with knives against people with machine guns and handguns who are highly trained. In fact, I think it's actually pathetic that their best Navy SEALs operative fell to a bunch of lead pipes. Never mind that it seemed like they didn't have enough knowledge to throw in tear gas and chemical weapons and other things to subdue the unit before they went in. Never mind, why would you send Navy SEALs against a bunch of protesters when you should be sending anti-riot people or, ter or terrorist blockades or basically crowd dispersers? Uh, that is kind of like how China sent in tanks to deal with people who were throwing rocks at Tiananmen Square. And boy, did that give them great PR. Um, anyhow, whether Israel is in the right or the wrong, and I want to say that my heart goes out to not only the Israel soldiers that got injured in that, because, you know, they, they first of all, I mean, some of them get drafted in, but a lot of them, it's, I mean, a lot of them sign up, but a lot of them are just drafted in. You just turn 18 and boom, you have a gun now and you're supposed to die for a country that you may not even agree with their politics and so you know getting a vicious beating like that ow and following orders that you probably don't agree with double ow and my heart also goes out to all the uh protesters especially the ones if this was a farce who were legitimate um who are currently detained cannot go back to their home countries some of them are americans which makes this really bad and some of them are even Holocaust survivors, which really makes Israel's uh, detainment treatment and media blackout completely disgusting. And so my heart goes out to both the soldiers and the protesters who are injured, detained, and really want to go home. And also to the people who died on the ship. Uh, however, Israel has had this PR campaign that I hate in the same way how I hate American patriotism, like with this whole tea parties and yellow ribbons and flag bullshit. This whole penis 
red, white, and blue penis waving contest. Israel has a very similar gigantic yarmulke waving contest in which they've associated an Israelite with Jew. And that's a huge problem. I do agree that I think Israel should be the Jewish state. However, I do not think that if you are Jew, it's like the rectangle versus triangle. Like, you know, a rectangle could potentially be a, a, a sorry, rectangle and square. Rectangle could kind of be a square, but it kind of isn't. There's like that law where it's like can be, but it's not. Same thing here where Israel is a Jewish state. That doesn't mean that Israel represents all Jews. And this is a problem because now, just like their enemies, the extremist Muslims, they have a bunch of extremist Jews, many of them who run the country now after the 2009 election, um, who see Israel as a holy land. So Israel cannot do any wrong. This is the same way that the Muslims can't do anything wrong, or the Roman Catholics and the Vatican can't do anything wrong, because it's a holy land. Instead of seeing it for what it really is, which is a country that has a government that's elected. They even had this in the Bible where they warned about King David being a dick. That guy is the ultimate power uh and that's who you should listen to not these people on earth they're just there to manage shit if they do something fucked up get them it's your right that was in the book and people seem to ignore that because extremism is just very easy to follow um and so the problem so that's promised is a holy land and this is a thing because if you look at israel the way it is and i have a lot of friends who are israel refugees and i study israel a lot israel is exactly the same like these other shit countries in the middle east uh, and I respect a lot of these shit countries, so I love Egypt and stuff like that, but their politics, it's like, I love the people, love the culture, politics, oh, you have these crazy religious nut people, and the corruption, and the crime, and it's just off the hook, and yes, Israel has terrorist cells, mainly manned by Mir Kahayan, I hope I pronounced that right, with Bark Goldman, who caused massacres and assassinations everywhere, just like the fucking goddamn Muslim extremists. But they never get reported because everyone wants to kiss their ass because if you're mad against Israel, you become a Nazi, which I think is wrong. That's what they've done. So they've avoided all criticism except for now. So whether Israel is in the right or in the wrong, I hope that finally Israel will be actually seen as a country and then tried as a country. I mean, it breaks most of the NATO laws everywhere. They feel like they're special, so... You want to feel special, you can join off the rest of the specials with North Korea and Iran for all you care. And again, we'd have to declare you an axis of evil, and I'm sure you don't want mm. that, but whatever. Um, so that's basically what I hope happens, is that Israel, whether they're right or wrong, is finally going to be seen as a state. And it's going to be very interesting, because Egypt just lifted their side of the Gaza blockade, which has been deemed illegal by everyone, including the United States. And... Turkey is now going to protect the next vessel that's coming in with aid, which that vessel is also done by NATO. It's now a pair, so there's Americans and uh, British people and all sorts of people on there. And if the Israelites are dumb enough to attack them, and especially if a British or an American person gets killed or maimed, oh boy, World War III. And especially if they pull all of the resources out of Israel, they'll be dead in three days. So it's going to be very interesting. I hope that this issue gets resolved, and I hope that more deaths and injuries will not be continued, that these people can return to their homes, and we can go to working on some sort of a peaceful arrangement, perhaps Israel moving back to its borders, and then putting troops there to make sure that the Palestinians don't try to take over Israel and vice versa, um, to promote peace in the land. It's a pipe in the sky dream, but again, dreams allowed us to build planes and allowed us um, many other inventions, internet, uh, love, philosophy, these are all based on hope. So, as the architect says, hope is a quintessential delusion, both simultaneously our greatest strength and greatest weakness, and I hope in this case will be the greatest strength. Well, anyway, that's the video. Uh, more blogs are just coming shortly, and uh, comment below, and I hope you have something nice to say, because if not, well, fuck you. <laughs> Alright.